Hi, my name is Rachel. I'm a mom, wife, student, business owner, volunteer, and an active member in my church. I use writing and communication daily. I am learning something new every day, also teaching something new every day. School is never out for me. School is never out. All of our lives we're learning. Preschool, elementary, middle school, high school, and college. Does it in there? Life is about learning. When we stop learning, we die. Tom all of our lives we're learning. When we're in our 20s, it can not It can feel like we have spent our entire lives in the classroom. Think about it. We start out in pre-K and then move to elementary, middle school, high school, college, and for some, even going on to graduate program. We are a learning society. Even those who stop after high school or decide not to finish college for one reason or another never stop learning and certainly never stop having to write. Every person that is in society should be learning and gaining knowledge. Composition scholars and educational philosopher Mike Rose has suggested that all people living and working in America deserve an education that honors not only our economic motives for learning, but also our intellectual, social, civic, moral, and aesthetic motives as well. We have ability to understand our social rights and duties. Education develops our skills that can be applied in everything we do. Due to education, we can make a difference between right and wrong. Through education, we also understand our religious values, our standards as well. An uneducated society cannot get success without skills that are those who are educated. Meet Chris, my husband. Chris started our company with just him, some equipment, and a dream. Is Chris blue collared or white collared? What is blue-collared workers and a white-collared worker? The term blue-collar and white-collar are occupational classifications that distinguish workers who perform manual labors from workers who perform professional jobs. Historically, blue-collared workers wore uniforms, usually blue and work in a trade occupation. White-collar workers typically wore white button-down shirts and worked in office settings. Other aspects that distinguish blue-collared and white-collared workers include their earnings and educational level. So what collared worker is my husband? He does both. His business grew when he needed to hire employees and do a lot of advertisement and marketing. He hadn't gone to college and struggled with this. He had to rely on others to help. He wanted to expand, so he purchased a lawn care company. But in order to get any bigger, he needed to apply for an SBA loan. Guess what is needed for that? That's correct, more writing skills. How do you write a small business plan that paves the way for success? You either have to hire somebody or you have to be educated. Even in a business plan for pest control and lawn care, knowing how to write is essential. Writing and communication is necessary in everything from media, advertising, speaking to customers, emails, and even purchasing other companies. As business owners, we have learned the importance of education and having excellent written and oral skills. If you don't have the skills, you can lose money or may even have to pay others to do the work for you. We had to write, when we went on TV, we had to write our own ideas and talking points to be given to the producer to be able to get all the information about our company out um, and in as much as we could in as little of time. Then we had to execute our plan of action when being interviewed by the television host. There's lots of aspects of being a business owner that writing comes into play. For example, having to write job posts. I did this one just a few weeks ago. We're still looking for someone if you're interested. Black Widow plus people. Even our entry level employees need to have the ability to read and write efficiently. First, they need to prove that they are competent and professional in their resumes they send to even get an interview. Then in the interview, they need to be able to communicate effectively. Then they must be able to pass the test through the Department of Agriculture to be able to obtain a license. Again, a post-education and learning even after they are out of school. They have to train and learn the skills by working with an experienced worker until they have proven knowledgeable in their new career. Next, they have to be able to read the labels, write invoices, communicate with customers, office staff, and management. Then, being a technician, pest control and lawn may not be a needed degree, but excellent verbal and written communications are essential. Lastly, for them to promote and grow within the company, 
further trainings are necessary. The power of education. Did you guys know that college graduates can earn at least a million dollars more in their lifetime than those without a degree? Just look at the numbers. Chris started out as a, quote, blue-collared worker. He's now president of a corporation he started. He's considered white-collared. Um, if you talk to my husband, he'll always be a blue-collared worker. That's in his roots. But remember, what else sets blue-collared and white-collar workers apart? That's right, education. In our neighborhood, there's a social class prejudice in our suburban middle-class community about uneducated individuals. Is it education or wealth? I have not felt subject to this. However, we have had um, a successful business, so we, are we the exception? I saw this on the internet. Educated people devote their work for the development of their nation. Education is necessary for the success of every field and sector. I like to believe that is true with the uneducated as well. As I pondered this thought, I realized education is not just a degree. It's a way of life. It's a learning and a developing our skills daily. My husband has developed his craft and educated himself in a way that has made him successful. He's making our nation a better place and providing opportunities for others. Now, does that mean that he wouldn't benefit from a class or two? No, not at all. Education is very important. I can't stress the importance of being able to communicate and write effectively enough. Although, also to use others' writings to learn and grow. It's critical in life to be able to articulate words, express opinions, write and arrange the thoughts into something that is clear, concise, and to the point. Writing is important for everyone, from blue collar to white collar, for students and teachers. If anything comes from this, let it be to not be stagnant in your education, no matter what your title is. Continue to learn and be taught. Now, getting education is not a problem because of technology making it easier for us to continue our learning and education. It is knowing the importance of education and continually learning and having the desire to improve and make ourselves better. Knowledge is power. Go change the world with your knowledge. I'm going to try. Have a great day, guys.